So the institution needs two things. Just like for the body to function properly, it needs very efficient, powerful arms. Uh, so these arms are the managing aspect. Mm. But just will the arms of the body be enough? What actually is the most important aspect, the part of the body? The head. So in this body of ISKCON, the arms have been very, very effective in performing their roles. But uh, what is also needed is the head. So who is the head or who will continue to be the head? Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada is the founder Acharya of ISKCON. What does it mean that Srila Prabhupada is the spiritual head of ISKCON for all time? What is the meaning of the word Acharya? Acharya means spiritual head. Acharya means the spiritual head. So who is the spiritual head of ISKCON? Yeah. As long as ISKCON will be there, who will be the spiritual head? When Prabhupada wants something, it's very difficult to make him change his mind. So he wanted to go, so... And Prabhupada also was very keen, very adamant to go to the West. Mm -hmm. Prabhupada even went to the extent of telling that a soldier doesn't die on bed. For a soldier to die in bed is a disgrace. A soldier's glory in, is in dying in the battlefield. And Prabhupada considered that his battlefield is the preaching ground. Bhakti Chuzami was giving what India really needed, love and devotion. And to watch him do that was quite a feat. To uh, Ujjain, and I was, we have an expression in America, I don't know if it translates well, called blown away by the hospitality, the sweetness, the beauty of the temple, the kindness of the devotees, how well every little thing I couldn't even think of was taken care of. And I realized that I was in a temple that reflected the Bhakti True Swami that I knew. And so my experience with, with being with Maharaj was almost kind of like, you know, when, when your dhoti is 
dirty and you don't notice it, you only notice it when you're next to someone who has an impeccably clean dhoti and not one wrinkle in his, his dhoti or his kurta. It's, you know, it's just like, like, oh, you don't have any wrinkles in your kurta. Oh, your tilak's on perfectly. Oh, you have no spots on your dhoti. All of a sudden I realized, oh, there's wrinkles in my kurta. My tilak's not on perfectly. You know, it was something like that, like being with him it like made me realize, oh, without him saying anything, just being who he was, it made me realize my deficiencies um, as a cultured person and as a cultured Vaishnava. And as we know, His Holiness Bhakti Chiru Maharaj is the reservoir of culture. I've commented in previous discussions how His Holiness made Vaishnava culture look so easy. It just flowed like the waves in the ocean. He didn't have to make any kind of contrivance in his behavior, in his demeanor, in his reciprocation, in his dealings with devotees. Srila Prabhupada said that the vapu, the physical association, is for neophytes. I first read this comment. Uh, when I was uh, taking care of his correspondence in Los Angeles, both letters from him and to him. And I saw this statement, physical association with the guru is for neophytes. And of course, our reaction, your reaction, like mine was, would be, okay, let's remain neophytes. We want that vapu, we want that physical association. That's natural. Take advantage of all you can get. But at the same time, it's true that the Vani is more important. And the amazing thing is that the Vani is even more intense. That's hard to appreciate at first because we miss that sweet physicalness of physical association. But we'll find that Krishna is not cheating us. Krishna is not depriving us. Actually, Krishna will give us more. And for the sincere disciple, he or she will feel their guru's presence even more, although the guru has physically departed. This is the mysticism of bhakti, the power of association through instruction. It's not mythology. It's not just some kind of encouraging words. It is the actual bhakti experience. All of you, although I'm sure all of you are still feeling un, almost an immeasurable uh, separation from Maharaj, but still you're the most fortunate people in the universe to have had this glorious opportunity to associate with Maharaj. So Prabhupada Back to true Maharaj, all these great devotees, how we may not understand, we may not fully understand. Why is it? Somehow or another they leave us, but they never leave us. Never. It happens to all of us. Prabhupada said, don't think this won't happen to you. But for sure, we can all experience it can increase. The whole purpose of the spiritual master, pure devotees coming here is to completely drown us or absorb us in Krishna consciousness. Guru is not the end. Guru is the medium. And he is transparent. Transparent means nothing stops in him. Everything passes through. So you come to him, and he offers you to Srila Prabhupada. <coughs> so Diksha is important, admission is important, but admission is not everything. Uh, education, Shiksha is the important aspect. Now in Iskon, whose Shiksha prevails? Srila Prabhupada's Shiksha. Every morning we give Srimad Bhagavatam class on, based on whose books and whose purport. Do you want ISKCON to grow? 
then when some effort is being made to expand this con, uh, what should you do? Stand aside and watch the fun? <laughs> no. Line up. Uh, commit yourself. Uh, because your contribution, your involvement is very, very important. Shun Sharada Va Nalali Dhaloka Tranaya Karuna Ghana Ghana Tam Shun Sharada Va